Wow, Capcom. Wow. So, the Wall Street Journal recently put out their article about how Nintendo has raised their expectations for Switch console sales, talking about the move from 10 million projected to 14 million, uh, reporting on some of the stuff that Nintendo said in their financial briefing that we reported on earlier today in a video you can see at the top right corner. Now, <laughs> Capcom decided to comment on all this. So did Koei Tecmo. And this is because the Wall Street Journal reached out to them for comment on uh, games coming to Nintendo Switch. And here is what it says verbatim from the Wall Street Journal. Capcom Company, a software publisher famous for the Resident Evil and Monster Hunter franchises, has released for the Switch only some of their older titles that it had released to other game consoles. A company spokeswoman said that it is normal procedure for third-party software developers because there isn't enough time to make new games for a console within a year of its launch. What? <laughs> Wait a second. The the Capcom, the spokeswoman for Capcom, seriously say it is normal procedure for third party software developers because there isn't enough time to take make new games for a console within a year of its launch. So you're telling me that Call of Duty and Madden and Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs and all the games Capcom makes and all the games that Bethesda makes and all these other games did not launch on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in its first year. You're telling me that third-party publishers did not support Xbox One and PlayStation 4 during their first year on the market because it is normal procedure because uh, there's not enough time to make new games for a console within a year of its launch. Okay. <laughs> you wonder how easily this is refuted. The following paragraph, the one that happens right after that, are comments directly from Koei Tecmo, who made Fire Emblem Warriors and is bringing, uh, you know, the Dynasty Warriors, like a bunch of games to the, the console and some other stuff. Here's what it says, and I quote, We bet big on Switch as a game changer, so we began making games before the Switch's launch. But many software companies showed reluctance in releasing Switch games before they witnessed the current success, said Yoichi Arakawa, er chief executive of game company Koei Tecmo Holdings, at a news conference last week. So, following up Capcom's comment that it is normal procedure for third-party software developers because there aren't enough time, there, there basically isn't enough time to make new games for a console, Koei Tecmo literally said, hey, we started making games for the system before it launched. Like... That's normal procedure. Normal procedure for third-party companies that want to support a platform is to start working on that platform before it comes out. As an example, I guarantee you that Bethesda knew they wanted to bring Doom to Switch before Switch launched on March 3rd. I guarantee it. I guarantee that they've been working six-plus months on that port. <laughs> that panic button. I... I have no idea what Capcom is saying. And obviously, this is where sometimes they get the, the reputation of Crapcom because they, they don't always make the greatest of games. Uh, their Monster Hunter series has been fantastic. Uh, in fact, what's ironic about this is it's been less than a year since Monster Hunter Double Cross came out on 3DS and they brought it to Switch in Japan. So they brought their own IP less than a year of development to Switch. So they're defeating it by their, <laughs> their own release. I... Look, I understand that sometimes PR people make flubs, but this flub is bad. Uh, if you remember, like the only other PR flub I can remember from this year that's as bad is when Sony said that they had to protect children, uh, and that's why they won't do crossplay with Xbox One and Nintendo Switch because they have to protect the children in Minecraft, as if uh, that matters, and as if Microsoft and Nintendo can't protect children, and as if Microsoft doesn't own Minecraft in the first place and thus controls the entire player base uh, for that game, anyways, regardless of what platform they play on. It, it was a baffling just total PR flub that should have never been said that made Sony just look like a trash company at that time. Now, I'm not saying that Sony is a trash company, but that person gave the perception of a high and mighty attitude that, to be fair, Sony has mostly maintained ever since. 
And Sony kind of has a reputation of when they are the top dog, they tend to get a little cocky about it. Uh, and that usually leads to some bad decisions. It led to some bad decisions with PlayStation 3. We have yet to see if it'll lead to bad decisions with PlayStation 5. Uh, there are some people that said, obviously, PlayStation 4 uh, ended up not being the greatest of decisions made for the hardware on that. I have no idea. I obviously am not involved uh, at Sony to know what went into that. But Capcom, Capcom, Capcom. Let me read that again verbatim what this spokeswoman said. A company spokeswoman said that it is normal procedure for third-party software developers because there isn't enough time to make new games for a console within a year of its launch. That's BS. It's total, total and utter complete BS. All you have to say is the clearly obvious excuse why you haven't created any new games for Switch yet. You didn't think it was going to sell well, so you wanted to wait and see that the platform was a success before you make games for it. And the thing is, most consumers aren't going to get mad at you about that because we know that's what's happening. We know that's why certain third-party companies aren't jumping right on board. And it's really weird that Capcom's not considering that Capcom has all this success with Nintendo platforms in the past, especially in a handheld form. Uh, and <laughs> I bet you Capcom is sitting in a room with themselves right now, looking at the mirror, staring at Monster Hunter Worlds, uh, just holding up a, a physical copy of that game, just looking in the mirror and being like, why, why did we write off the Switch when we were making this game? And I understand there could be contracts involved. Maybe there's exclusivity contracts involved. Maybe Sony, Microsoft, or somebody ponied up to prevent that game from coming to Switch. Because obviously if it came out on Nintendo's platform, that would massively hurt its potential sales on PlayStation 4, especially in Japan. But, oh man. Oh man. They have to be looking in the mirror and just being like, man, we screwed up. We should have bet big on Switch right away. We should have made Monster Hunter World exclusive for Switch and we would have even sold more copies. Heck, it could be one of the top sellers on the system, just like it's been one of the top sellers on 3DS all these years. I I don't know what Capcom is thinking right now. Uh, I can't imagine what it's like to to be someone who looks at what this PR person said and think, oh yeah, that was a good response. Because this was said, um, this was a planned response, right? This wasn't just said off the cuff. This spokeswoman had this as a planned response saying that it's normal for third party. No, no, no. What's normal is third party companies that want to make games for your platform already start working on the platform before it launches. Now, with, it's hard to make a game within the first year. No, it's not. Ask Nintendo to give you... <laughs> Here, here's what's funny. Here's what's, what's really funny about this. Capcom was consulted about the Switch hardware before it launched. Because of Capcom, the Switch has 4 gigabytes of RAM instead of 2. Because Capcom told Nintendo that 2 gigabytes was not enough for their games. So Nintendo doubled it to 4. So Capcom is why the Switch has 4 gigabytes of RAM. Which is good. It's good. It's glad that the Switch, like good on Nintendo, they put 4 gigs of RAM in. 8 would be preferred, but actually 4 is quite a bit for the X, the Tegra X1 platform that was built for 2 gigs. So 4 gigs of RAM is great. That's awesome. Good on you, Nintendo. I think 3.5 3 of it or something is available for games. That's awesome. But Capcom was so influ influential with the hardware to cause that to happen, but they couldn't actually start making games for the switch before you can't tell me nintendo doesn't go to you and ask your your opinion on a device and then you just don't commit to it and don't make games uh that's not nintendo's fault it's not normal procedure capcom reality is you missed the boat on switch you missed it hard in 2017 and yeah maybe you're gonna have some games hitting it in 2018 and 2019 and beyond in fact you probably will because at this point at the rate the switch is going you would be foolish to not do that you would be foolish to not have another monster hunter game coming out after worlds for nintendo switch you would be foolish to not to even try to get monster hunter worlds on switch if you can next year uh maybe then uh you could salvage the sales because a lot of people are thinking that monster hunter worlds doesn't look like or doesn't sound like it's going to sell very well on the PlayStation 4 platform. I, I maybe up, you know, maybe everyone's wrong. Maybe it will, but a lot of people are looking at it right now and thinking, mm, you know, the people who want to play this game aren't really there. Uh, they're on Nintendo's platform. They've been on Nintendo's platform for like a decade. I, I don't know what's going on at Capcom. I, I just, I, I'm baffled. I'm baffled every time something like this comes out. I said this is so comparable to what Sony said this summer. I. 
look, you can insult the Switch. You can not want to make games for the Switch. But don't start making up some BS. And I love, I love Koei Tecmo. Uh, like, what is so this is normal third-party procedure. And then Koei Tecmo was like, eh, we bet big on Switch and started making games for it before it even released. <laughs> normal procedure, reality. Uh, right in the face from another Japanese company. And, uh, like, that's the thing. This isn't talking about Bethesda with Doom and all this stuff. This is, uh, <laughs> this is literally... Japanese company, Japanese company. This is normal procedure. Ah, oh, yeah, we started making games for the Switch because we bet big on it. Now, all you have to do is want to make a game for the platform, and you'll get it done. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jets from Nintendo Prime. The thing is, we're talking about Koei Tecmo that had success with Hyrule Warriors on Wii U, and we're talking about Capcom, who's had success with their games on 3DS. Like, both companies had a history of success on Nintendo's platforms. One of them, the one that's actually had the least amount of success, chose to bet big and got a game out in the first year. Capcom, the company that had the most success on Nintendo's platforms, like, eh, it's normal procedure to not be able to game out in year one of a platform. Oh, man. Yes, some games don't come out year one on the platform, obviously. But they get announced. Y you just... Uh. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Rebel Dance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. I, the, today's just been a really weird day, hasn't it? First Reggie going off, and now this Capcom spokeswoman just talking a bunch of BS, which uh, just trying to defend the company for not releasing games on Switch this year. I... <sighs> All right. I'll just catch you guys in the next one.